darling. Hi. <laughs> welcome or welcome back. Cellulite and Love Tarot or Hillary for short. Happy Thoughtful Thursday. <laughs> I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I'm going to see what spirit wants you to be thinking about. What spirit is really impressing on your conscious and subconscious awareness right now for you to intellectualize and integrate I just heard okay let's get into it <laughs> let's see spirit how do you want to start this off rainbow brain skull okay let's do it spirit my higher self my darlings higher self thank you so much for using me as a channel to guide and instruct I ask for the most clear and concise messages information feelings and sensations to flow through me the betterment of my darling and for the highest good of everyone involved thank you so much spirit and thank you for being here i love you i appreciate you i'm so thankful that you are here in this space with me and that you are holding space for me to read for you welcome to my soul pack okay spirit tell me what you want darling to be aware of in their mind in their thoughts what are you bringing into their conscious and subconscious awareness right now? It's funny because I feel like it's very lighthearted because this deck is very lighthearted. So it's funny that they want me to do this. <laughs> Don't do everything. Do the next thing. Hmm. Maybe you're overwhelmed by all the things that you need to do and Spirit is just trying to have you focus on one step at a time. This image is very gray. So I'm feeling like life feels very mundane and maybe when you think about the big picture or what you need to accomplish in the long term, it feels overwhelming. I'm getting the imagery. <laughs> did, any, did any of you play Super Mario 64 back in the day? <laughs> if you did, do you remember in that game going up the staircase before you could reach the final level? And it's like if you tried to reach the final level of Peach's Castle to defeat Bowser before you were ready, it was just an infinite staircase. No matter how long you ran on the staircase, it just kept going and going and going. And I feel like that's maybe what it feels like from where you're at is like there's an infinite staircase that feels like an impossible an impossible climb to surmount to get to what you are wanting in the long term that feels out of reach and spirits like one step at a time love bug one step at a time do the next thing what do you need to do right now to step into that plan of where you see you yourself heading one step at a time anything else here spirit before I go to another deck the infinite ocean of ideas I was just talking about the the the, the staircase going on for infinity an endless staircase the infinite ocean of ideas we're all allowed to swim in So maybe it's like, do you see the stark contrast in the colors here? Grayscale versus color. So I feel like spirits like maybe what you think, if you're never more than half, you're never more than half a step away from being back in the flow. Oh my gosh. Someone feels off track or out of flow or like things are not, Things are not okay like it's not okay if you take a break you're not supposed to be doing anything right now yeah so it feels like someone feels guilty for maybe not being as proactive because they're overwhelmed about what it's gonna take okay maybe you're overwhelmed about what it's gonna take so then you hesitate to even do anything right and 
it's almost like this infinite ocean of ideas has become the very thing that we fear. You know, like swimming in a pool, a limited space of water versus swimming in the depths of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit different, right? And so Spirit's like, it's okay that you're taking this break right now, okay? When you feel inspiration, when you're in the flow of things, that means that you're just living in the moment, kind of like saying yes. Spirit's telling you to just say yes right now. Just say yes. If that means take a break, just say yes. Take a break. It's okay. Don't beat yourself up for it. If you feel inspired to do something outside of the norm or something routine, just say yes. Just do it right? You're never more than half a step away from being back in the flow. So sometimes in the thought space and in the conscious awareness, it's just like, what ideas are you flooding yourself with? Are you flooding yourself with ideas of it's too vast for you? Or are you flooding yourself with, you know, the ideas that you are capable, that you as a conscious being are more vast than any limited idea that you may have? Or desire that you may have a desire is more limited than you as a as a being isn't that interesting so sometimes you gotta flow sometimes you gotta slow okay <laughs> and sometimes the flow is slow <laughs> and sometimes the flow it go <laughs> that's a bar okay <laughs> a bar it's not that's a white girl bar if I've ever heard a white girl bar okay <laughs> let's see spirit is there anything else okay sacred symbols oracle real quick okay what do you what else do you want to tell darling about this you know flowing slowing going ideas what else do you want them to know I'm being told to read the book on whatever comes out Please don't throw out 70 cards just to spite me, okay? <laughs> what do you want, darling, to know? Oh, we got a flipper. We got two flippers. Air and fire, 28 and 27. Veiled, 38. Psychic knowledge. Okay, psychic knowledge. Veiled psychic knowledge. Veiled psychic knowledge. I'm not going to read the book on those because those were just on bottom, but the image that I just got with this air and fire and veiled, I was imagining like a candle near curtains. And it's like the fan. There's like a fan that's like really making this flame go awry. And it like catching the veil on fire and so I feel like the veil is thinning in a sense because you're actually putting airflow to your passion putting airflow to your passion putting like air is like thoughts communication fire is action and passion and the two of them together your thoughts and action are what splits the veil between otherworldly and worldly, the, the conscious and the subconscious, the seen and the unseen, psychic, the seen and the unseen. It's like using, using that power to help you gain knowledge on how to take the next step. It's like, when you realize how vast you are as a being, you have this infinite capacity to be anyone that you desire to be. It's not just hopeful talk to kindergarteners. It's like, no, really, really. If, you're per if you are a person with purpose-driven ambition and determination and a refusal to quit, time to rest, time to plan and think, but you actually do it, you will accomplish anything that you set on. The, the ideas are infinite. And maybe that's intimidating, but that could also be inspiring. 
it's like you have to write it down. Write it down, write down a plan, figure out what you actually want, and then align your thoughts, your thought flow with action to separate it being something idealistic from tangible. Okay, this is really interesting. You're actually a very lucky person because not a lot of people know how to do this. And I feel like this is something that's already been coming to you in meditation. Okay, read the book on air and fire. Let's do it. Air is logic, critical thinking, facts, information, research, and reasoning are required at this time. You may also need more information before proceeding. Drawing this card asks you to call on the element of air to help you, find, to help you in finding healthy resolutions. Meditate with this symbol to call on more of the air element in your life. Enhance logical thought and inspire new ideas. Use incense, channel writing, I was just telling you to write it down, and journaling to enhance the power of this element. And then we have fire. These are, these are neighbors in this book. Isn't that interesting? The next step, or take a step back, because fire is the first one in this book, and then air is the next one. So it's like take a step back and reflect. Write down, channel writing. Okay, light, creativity, drive, purity, passion, and new opportunities. The element of fire can free you from boredom, clear karma, and give you the energy required to take action. Be warned though, too much fire can also burn, so be mindful of utilizing this energy wisely by channeling it creatively. Meditate on the symbol with the assistance of a candle to inspire creativity, motivation, and passion. Woo, okay. We'll leave those out. Let's get into tarot. Okay, spirit. What is the thought? What is the idea that you are trying to bring? What, what is it that you're bringing to Darling's Awareness in the Tarot? I'm going to do a Celtic Cross. I'm going to shift this this way. Okay. Okay. Okay, what are you bringing to Darling's Conscious and subconscious awareness right now. Six of Wands, how to succeed in something. The passion, the fire. Look at you. Something's being recognized. They want you to recognize something within you that you maybe don't see. Maybe you see it in others, but you don't see it within yourself. And Spirit's trying to bring it to your attention like this is something within you also. And it's riding on your heart space. I'm seeing how this horse is covered in green like a green cape. So it's like, ride your heart. Ride your heart. What does that mean? Okay, what's the blockage to this thought? What's kind of blocking this idea, the, this awareness? How is darling blocking this thought? <laughs> The Emperor, <laughs> control freak, <laughs> Aries energy, you're not a control freak, but I just feel like you're just very much like, he's sitting, right? He's sitting. It's like, I want things to go a specific way. I want things to happen a specific way. And I don't really have room for, I don't really have much wiggle room in that area, right? Um, this could also be the opinions of others that you look up to, right? It's almost like feeling like you're set apart from authority figures. Like you don't measure up in some way. That's a possibility for sure. Like the, the feeling that I'm getting is like whoever the leader was before King Arthur, <laughs> Camelot. It's like the sword and the stone, you know? It's like, 
it feels like there's something some sort of mastery that needs to happen or that you feel needs to happen that you believe needs to happen possibly a father figure possibly a boss possibly feeling like something's already been mastered and so there might not be a use for it but ultimately i feel like it's ego you know ego which is just limited limiting your ideas okay what happened in the past that fueled this guidance from you spirit Knight of Cups, the Six of Cups on bottom, the Lovers, the Hierophant, ooh, okay. I feel like you had an experience which challenged your beliefs, challenged what you knew to be true for yourself. I'm not sure if someone spoke to you, someone from your past, from someone from your childhood that helped you reframe the way that you viewed something, or it, it just left enough of a wiggle room for there to be a question. We'll put it that way. It's like someone offered you some knowledge, something sparked a feeling within you. Could be someone you know, or someone that you felt just like connected to in that moment. Like someone felt familiar, something or someone felt familiar. And in that moment, it opened up the possibility of a question. Does it have to be this way? Is there a different option available? Expanded thinking, a teaching moment. A teaching moment. A possible spiritual awakening. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini or Aries. Okay. So as far as Darling's concerned, what does Darling like aware of regarding this queen of cups <laughs> queen of cups Let's set this aside i'm still gonna be scrying throughout that i'm seeing a black hole in my crystal ball which is really interesting with the queen of cups because it's almost like the way this is looking it's like i can see energetic waves in this like black hole right it looks like wa the waves in the water, but it's black. You're aware of something with the heart space, a closed off heart, overgiving in some sense, someone appearing kind, but having their own agenda possibly. It's like someone who wants to take everything, someone who wants to take it all. Oh, thank you, spirit, for utilizing my intuition. Someone who wants to take it all. Chariot, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, yeah. I don't know if this is an aspect of yourself or if this is another person. Could be a mother figure. If it's not your mother, it could be a different mother. It's like someone, uh, the, the feeling I'm getting is like someone with good intentions, but it's like holding, you know, birds back from the nest because of their own fear of injury to their children or something. And that's like a self-serving, hello Blitz, <laughs> you see my cat. He always comes around when there's something to be protected from, which is really in interesting. This is someone that, something or someone that feels inescapable with that black hole energy. It feels inescapable and it feels like it compresses it's like when you try to expand, it brings you down to a singular point. Maybe it's the way that you felt about something has been very constricting, very compressing. And it's not been something that has allowed for growth. It could be like being aware of vying for the affection of people who only see you in a certain light, who only view your ideas as self-serving, who have something negative to say when you just want the care and consideration. Let's see what you're not aware that spirit is bringing to your awareness of. What's the subconscious energy that darling's not aware of with this?
six of swords, leaving the nest, moving forward, leaving the conflict zone. Oh, leaving a mother, possibly Empress energy. Something leaving, something moving forward. Taking the next, the necessary steps to navigate mentally through this ocean of emotions. <laughs> Emperor's Page of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like things are going swimmingly, okay? You might not be aware of that, but this is all part of the process. This is all part of the process for you to step forward, to voyage to new lands, to get your feet back on solid ground. This is part of it, okay? Let's see what is coming up, what's up ahead that Darling needs to be aware of, and the reason why you're planting these thoughts of empowerment and trying to break through these barriers. Four of Cups, I'm told to get one more. Five of Cups. The Moon, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups. Okay. Coming up, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity given to you or made aware, illuminated, revealed revealed that has the potential to lead you down this path to happiness if you so choose right it's being made available but it will require you to be empowered in your emotions and to say no to feelings and beliefs that don't serve that end goal. Yeah, it's going to take your due, dil your due dil diligence. Okay. Because I feel like you could be someone who perpetually sees the worst, feels the worst, experiences, experiences the worst, gives yourself every reason to look down on yourself, to feel ashamed, to grieve things, to reject things, to feel incapable in some way. And you're being given an opportunity whenever these feelings arise to say, no, that does not serve me. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Spirit wants you to know that Whatever you've learned, whoever came into your life that challenged your thinking, that said, huh, do I have to be this way? Do I have to think that way? Do I have to navigate that way? Do I have to restrict myself that way? Do I have to put myself into a box of being a downer, an Eeyore? Or can I be someone new? Can I be someone new? Okay, how does Darling, when this situation comes up, what, how do you want Darling to recognize that this is what's happening? Normally I would do how do you feel about it, but I'm being told to ask differently. How do you want Darling to recognize that, that this is what's happening? This is the opportunity that they can change things. Five of Swords, because <laughs> someone's gonna start something. And you might want to lash back at them. Lash back will receive backlash. Strength. There's something here about being gentle in the face of ferocity so that you can choose happiness and kindness and feel proud of yourself and connection three of cups yeah it's like you're in 
your instinct with this will be to bite someone's head off, essentially. To tell someone who they are. To make up for where your ego is feeling hurt. Where this person is actually inciting a truth that you already believe about yourself, right? And it's like, you get to decide your truth. You don't get to decide someone else's truth about you. And when you come to that place, you realize I don't have to accept their truth about me. They don't have to accept my truth about me. But I don't have to accept their truth about me. And I can see when someone's trying to get under my skin. I can see when someone is trying to do something and I can either try to get back under their skin and prove myself better or I can say, I see what you're doing and I don't accept it. And if that bothers them, that bothers them. You don't have to accept their truth about you and you don't have to let it get under your skin. You define who you are and other people define how they perceive who you are. See what I mean? Okay gonna be yeah yeah okay now how is this other person going to feel in this situation depending on how darling reacts let's say darling bites back how's that gonna affect them nine of swords Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands. It's really interesting because whatever you would say that would, you know, bite back would sting. It would be very hurtful, very painful, and it would affect them for a really long time. It's something that they won't be able to get off their mind. It will break their spirit. It will break their spirit. And this person could be a child. You could be this person's parent. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. And the reason why spirit wants you to be careful about this is because what you say as a parent or authority figure cuts deeper. Here I was thinking that you could have a father figure, but maybe you're the father figure and that's why you want control. And it's like you need to navigate in love and unconditional love for this person. Even though you feel like it's taking everything from you. If this is a child, that's what you signed up for. It's what you signed up for. Okay. We don't want to break our children's spirit. That will lash back, will backlash. Yeah, it will backlash and it will stick with them forever. What if darling chooses to not bite back in the situation? How will this affect this person? Oh my gosh. You're going to bring connection back and trust and safety. This person will feel like you understand that you actually understand that you're actually on their team, that you're actually on their side. You will give them the opportunity to experience an all encompassing love. If you can show this person, I feel specifically that this is for a child, okay? I don't feel like we have the op I don't feel like we have an obligation to necessarily navigate this with people who don't value us or her people who are just trying to get under our skin, but it feels like this could be a teenager or a child who is just trying to discover who they are, who is just trying to process their own frustrations and their own circumstances through their own perception and they need to trust that they are safe with you. 
I'm going to gear this towards this message because it's important. This child needs to know that you're on their team no matter what. They need to know, hey, I've also felt that way. I've also felt this way with my parents. I've also felt this way with authority figures. I get it. I get it. You can let it out. I see you. I feel you. I understand you. I'm on your team. You're not too much for me. You're not too much for me. This is going to require you to overcome a huge ego problem that feels like you're entitled to listen to me. I'm your parent. I own you. High Priestess, Death, Page of Swords. Yeah. It's like you need to see past what you think is just like bad behavior and see the soul of this kid and choose, am I going to kill this person's spirit? Am I going to kill my child's spirit? Am I going to, am I going to squash their soul? Am I going to squash their soul or am I going to offer grace and compassion? And I'm, am I going to say, I see you. You don't have to say anything. I know. I know. This, this kid is literally just looking. They're searching for acceptance. They're guarded. They're, they're worried about life. They're trying to figure out who they are. They're trying to figure out what boundaries am I allowed to have? Where's my autonomy? Who do I get to be? They're trying to find themselves. And a kid who's trying to find themselves who is then greeted with, you're mine, you're my kid, do what I want, live up to my expectations, make me feel like I'm doing okay, not going to go well. They won't trust you. They won't feel safe with you. Okay. Okay. What is... How do you want... Normally it would be like your greatest hopes and fears with this situation, but I feel like that's been made pretty freaking clear. Let's do it anyways. Okay. What is Darling's greatest hopes about this? What? No, Spirit. What's your greatest hopes for this situation? Healing. Balance. Sagittarius energy. It's like this kid really needs you to embrace them with outstretched arms right now. Yeah, rather than closing off. Rather than closing off and not being unwilling to see, being unwilling to hear. This kid, like spirit wants you to embrace this, this kid. Okay. All right. Um, what's the outcome? What's the outcome here? That's a lot. Not those. Okay. What's the outcome here? The Fool, the Nine of Cups. This is an opportunity for you to heal something within you by navigating the way you handle this child differently. Right now, it's like maybe you haven't been super emotionally happy in this situation, not knowing what to do, not feeling proud of yourself, not feeling accomplished feeling like you're just kind of winging it and spirit is saying navigating through this will give you that level of hey I really did that the best that I could like I'm really proud of the way I handled that I'm really thankful for the space that I held for that kid I'm so thankful wow I was the parent that I needed I was the parent that I needed. 
That feels good. Yeah. This is so you can feel confident in your ability parenting. This might also close out a very difficult cycle between you and this child with the world and bring some healing. Yeah. Okay. This is a message, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't feel like doing anything else with this. Maybe healing energy oracles. Okay. Healing energy oracles for my darling. Goodness. I refine my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive. I calm my heart and illuminate my intellect to transform shadow into light. I consciously manifest goodness in and around me. I improve my qualities for the benefit of all. And then on bottom we have vitality. Both of these are green and I was very called to that heart. Writing your heart through this situation. I am a being of light. I accept the divine energy in my body and every one of my cells regenerates. All right, I'm going to leave this here. I hope that this reading resonated for you. And I hope that it was something that you really needed to hear and uh, that it helps you moving forward when this situation comes up for you, if this situation comes up for you, okay? <sighs> Tomorrow is Freaky Friday. We're going to see how to keep letting your freak flag fly, being completely authentically yourself. I hope to see you then, but if not, that's okay too. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, a wonderful remainder of the week, or a fantastic life. I love you so much. Take care and ta-ta!